Tesla quietly have the FSD strikeout forgiveness. Here's exactly how to check if you're now closer to losing FSD privileges and how to avoid it. So here's the quick and dirty rundown. With the latest software update version 2025.32, Tesla has made a significant change to how it handles full self-driving beta strikeouts. Before this update, the system was a bit more lenient. Now, the window for your strikes to be forgiven has been drastically shortened. This means that minor mistakes, those moments of inattention that might have been overlooked before, now carry more weight and stick to your record for a longer effective period. It's a subtle but powerful shift in policy that every FSD beta user needs to be aware of. Because it directly impacts your ability to use the software you paid for. Essentially, the grace period you once had has been cut in half. Imagine a demerit system for your driving attentiveness, but now, the points you accumulate take much longer to disappear. The core function of FSD hasn't changed, but the rules of the game have. This update underscores Tesla's push to ensure drivers remain vigilant and engaged, even when the car is doing most of the work. They are tightening the leash, so to speak, to reinforce that FSD is still a level 2 driver assist system, not a fully autonomous one. So, what exactly is a strikeout in the Tesla universe? Think of it like a penalty system in a video game. When you're using FSD beta, your car's internal camera watches you. The camera is mounted above the rearview mirror. It's checking that your eyes are on the road and that you're ready to take over at a moment's notice. If the system detects distraction, it warns you. Example, looking at your phone for too long. Example, staring out the side window. Example, eyes closed. Those warnings are both audible and visual. Ignore warnings repeatedly and the system gives you a strike. Accumulate five strikes and you're temporarily booted from the FSD beta program. You lose access. This whole system ties into what Tesla calls the safety score. The safety score is mostly about manual driving habits, hard braking, aggressive turning, tailgating. The strikeout system is the direct counterpart when FSD is engaged. Tesla's rationale is straightforward. FSD beta is a beta program. It's not perfect, so testers must act responsibly. By monitoring driver engagement, Tesla tries to prevent misuse that could cause accidents. It's both a liability shield and a quality control measure. The reason Tesla cares so much comes down to data and safety. Every mile on FSD provides valuable training data for Tesla's neural networks, but that data is only useful if it's collected under the right conditions, with an attentive driver ready to intervene. Before the 2025.32 update, the strikeout forgiveness system was relatively generous. Any strike you received would be automatically forgiven or erased from your record after a 14-day period. If you got a strike on a Monday, it would be gone two Mondays later. This two-week window gave drivers a decent buffer. You could make a mistake, learn from it, and have it cleared from your record. Now with the new update, that forgiveness window has been significantly reduced. Instead of a set 14-day period, strikes are now forgiven based on mileage. Specifically, a strike will only be removed after you have driven approximately 1,000 miles without receiving another strike. For the average driver who might cover around 1,000 miles per month or 1,200 miles per month, this effectively changes the forgiveness period from two weeks to nearly a month. Suddenly, that single strike you got for glancing at a text message is going to stick with you for a much longer time, increasing the odds that another small mistake could push you closer to the five-strike limit. Under the old system, if you got a strike every three weeks, you'd never have more than one on your record at a time. But under the new mileage-based system, that's no longer the case. If you get a strike today, and another one 500 miles later, you will now have two active strikes on your record. The first one won't be forgiven until you've driven another 500 miles after the second strike, and that's assuming you don't get a third one in that period. The new system demands sustained periods of perfect attentiveness over distance. So, with this new policy in place, you're probably wondering, where do I stand? Checking your software version and current strikeout status is thankfully pretty straightforward. It's all accessible, right from your car's main touchscreen. First, you need to verify which software version your car is running. Tap the car icon on the bottom left of your screen, pull up the main menu, navigate to the software tab. This screen shows the current software version number. If it says version 2025.32 or newer, the mileage-based strikeout policy applies. Once you've confirmed your software version, check your FSD strikeout status. Open the Autopilot menu from the main car menu. Tap Autopilot. Look for the full self-driving beta section. Active strikes will be clearly displayed here. Example, one strikeout received. Example, three strikeouts received. If you have zero strikes, 
you'll see the standard FSD beta info without warnings. This is your command center for your FSD standing. Make checking this menu a regular habit, maybe once a week. Warnings can be subtle if you're distracted by traffic. You might get a strike without realizing it in the moment. Check the autopilot menu regularly to avoid surprises. If a strike appears, be extra cautious for the next 1,000 miles. This check takes less than 30 seconds and can save your FSD access. Avoiding strikes isn't about being a perfect driver, it's about being an attentive one. Here are six simple habits you can build to dramatically lower your risk of getting a strike. First, keep your phone out of reach. This is the number one cause of distractions and strikes. Even a quick glance down at a notification can be enough for the system to flag you. Put your phone in the center console. Put it in a bag on the passenger seat. Put it somewhere you're not tempted to look at it. If you need to use your phone, disengage FSD first. Second, practice smooth and early signaling. When you plan to change lanes, activate your turn signal well in advance. Third, maintain a centered head position and keep your eyes on the road. The cabin camera watches your eye and head movement. Avoid turning your head for long conversations with passengers. Quick glances are fine, but prolonged inattention triggers warnings. Fourth, wear sunglasses that aren't overly dark or reflective, especially at dawn or dusk. Very dark or polarized lenses can obscure your eyes from the cabin camera. If a certain pair causes frequent nags, try a different pair. Fifth, be prepared to apply slight torque to the steering wheel. The system wants you to prove you're ready to take over by feeling a little resistance. Resting your hand lightly on the wheel usually prevents nags. Finally, always brake smoothly and early. Hard braking is mostly a safety score issue. Panicked, last-second braking can cause abrupt FSD disengagements. Anticipating slowdowns keeps the drive smooth and the system happy. Understanding this pattern is key to avoiding strikes. Maintain consistent readiness, even when the drive feels mundane. These six habits will significantly reduce your strike risk and help preserve your FSD access. Let me paint you a picture. Imagine you're driving on the highway. FSD beta is engaged. Everything is going smoothly. The car navigates moderate traffic. You're holding the wheel lightly, eyes on the road. Your kid in the back drops their tablet. It clatters to the floor. They start crying. You turn your head for a few seconds. It's okay, I'll get it when we stop. In that moment, your eyes are off the road. The car flashes a blue warning on screen. Pay attention to road. You turn back. The alert lingers for a second. You keep driving, thinking nothing of it. Approaching your exit, you glance down at navigation too long to confirm the turn. The warning becomes more insistent. An audible chime accompanies the visual alert. Later, stuck in stop-and-go traffic. It's tedious. You pull out your phone for one quick email. You're barely moving so it feels safe. The cabin camera doesn't care about speed. It sees your head down and eyes on the phone. The car issues a loud continuous alert and then, bam, a red warning flashes. FSD disengages. You've earned a strike. What should have happened instead? When the tablet dropped, keep eyes on road and soothe with your voice. For navigation, rely on audio directions when possible. For the email, wait until parked or manually disengage FSD first. This shows how quickly small distractions escalate into a strike. Losing your FSD beta access is more than just an inconvenience, it can have real financial consequences. Let's start with car insurance. If you're a Tesla owner, you might be using Tesla insurance, which relies heavily on your real-time driving data and safety score to set your premium. The strikeout system is technically separate from the safety score but behaviors that lead to strikes, like inattentiveness, are often linked to riskier driving. Repeated FSD disengagements could signal an unpredictable driver to the algorithm. A lower safety score can directly and immediately increase your monthly premium. Even with third-party insurance there can be indirect effects. After an accident insurers will investigate the circumstances. If FSD was engaged and then disengaged right before a collision, especially due to driver inattentiveness that caused a strike, it could complicate your claim. The car's data logs will show exactly what happened. Now resale value. FSD is a major add-on, often costing thousands. FSD capability is tied to the car, not the owner, and it's a big selling point that boosts value. But if your FSD beta access is revoked from too many strikeouts, you can't advertise the car as having full self-driving. A suspended FSD license is a disabled feature, and buyers will factor that into price. That can cut the resale value by a significant portion of what you paid for FSD. So keeping your FSD privileges isn't just for enjoyment, it's protecting a substantial financial investment. Okay, so let's say the worst has happened. 
You've accumulated five strikes and your FSD beta access has been revoked. What are your options? The first thing to do is not to panic. Tesla has a process, though it's not always transparent. If you genuinely believe a strike was issued in error, system glitch, poor lighting conditions, confusing the camera, another technical issue, you can try to appeal it. Submit a service request through the Tesla app. Be polite, be concise, provide as much detail as possible. Date, time, circumstances, have documentation. If you have a dash cam, and you absolutely should, save the footage from around the strike time. Beyond appeals, the Tesla community is invaluable. Tesla Motors Club are Tesla Motors. Find threads where users share appeal letters, the responses they received from Tesla tips on what did and didn't work. There are also helpful tools for tracking your driving data. Tessie, Teslab. Let's help each other navigate this together. I'll pin a FAQ with the best community resources.